Hey everyone, I'm Heather from the Friendship Factory and welcome to the 25 day Christmas craft challenge where we challenge you to make as many crafts as you can for your family and friends this holiday season. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a really easy hot cocoa mix for this holiday season. This is a super good gift if you totally forgot about someone which happens sometimes. Not that they're not special, but you know what happens to everyone. Like maybe you need to add one more gift to their pile. And this makes it really easy because you can find all of the ingredients around your house and this is super good for last minute. So even on the day of Christmas, if you forget to make something, this would be perfect. All you need is an old jar and then a bunch of ingredients, which I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna actually show you how to put this together because when I am cooking, baking, putting something together, it's a hot mess. It's all over the place and I'm sure you can all agree that that's what happens to you too. It's a lot of fun though and I love getting messy. Before we get started with the hot cocoa mix, I just want to show you a super easy way to make gift tags for this season. So it's perfect for any birthday or holiday as well. But for this season, you can use my image button maker and it's super easy. You just get some construction paper or you can get some leftover wrapping paper and you just kind of slip it through here and you cut out circles. So they look like this and it makes it much easier because you can just write to and from on there. You can tape it to your presents or you can tie a string around it. So poke a hole in it and then tie a string around it and it makes the perfect tag. And that's actually what I did with my hot cocoa mix is I made tags for the top and it says hot cocoa for the soul. And then on the back, it's just a recipe that says, when ready to enjoy, mix contents and place one third mix into one cup of boiling water. And that's what you should put on the back of this once you make it. But um, what I did is I just decoupaged it onto the bottle and it was super easy. To make your hot cocoa mix, you just need a half teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, one cup of cocoa powder, which is unsweetened, one cup of powdered milk, one cup of mini chocolate chips or whole size if you want. You can get the vanilla kind, so the white chocolate chips, or you can get the chocolate kind. And then some candy canes, which you can just pull off of your tree if you want to. And you'll need some food coloring. I use green and red. You don't have to use food coloring, but I think it makes the layers look a little bit prettier. And then you'll need some sort of jar, like an empty jar. And to get these labels off, all you have to do is either use nail polish remover and scrub it off with one of those metal scrubbers, or you can use rubbing alcohol. And rubbing alcohol actually works easier, but sometimes you only have one thing laying around. So to make this layered look, which is what makes it really festive and holiday looking, um, you're going to actually get out like three measuring cups. I would use one for the cocoa powder, I would use one for the sugar with the red food coloring, and then another for the sugar with the green food coloring. And I would put the condensed milk in another bowl. And so what you're going to do is you can layer it however you want but I did cocoa powder, condensed milk, then the red sugar, the green sugar, cocoa powder, condensed milk, red sugar, green sugar, cocoa powder, a little bit of condensed milk and then I put some chocolate chips in there. I also put some chocolate chips in between here and I put all of my uh, candy canes that I broke up, I put them in the top of here because they're easier to get to. They don't melt as well when you actually make the hot cocoa but they taste really good in there and you can actually eat them so they're really good. And that's basically how you do it. It's really super simple. It's a little bit messy if you have a smaller jar. If you have a bigger jar, it's easier to pour things into. But it's the perfect gift for someone and I like how it looks kind of like sand art. And the reason why I wanted to do food coloring is to like separate the colors. And you don't really need that many drops of food coloring. You probably need like 
four drops of red and probably two drops of the green food coloring. So that's really just how you do it. It's super simple and easy. If you want to add other ingredients, you can go ahead and do that. It's up to you. It just makes a really good, delicious peppermint hot chocolate for the holidays. Before you're finished with your hot cocoa mix and you put it in the jar and everything's all ready, just make sure you put this back label on here so they know what to do. And you just put, when ready to enjoy, mix contents and place one third of the mix into one cup of boiling water. And that makes it a lot easier for when they actually want to make their hot cocoa so they know how to do it. Then just add a pretty bow. If you want to, you don't have to decoupage a little circle onto here you could actually just tie a string around and then hang it like a tag it's up to you but you just want to make it look really pretty and you could draw on it with a sharpie if you wanted to anything that you want to do to this you can customize customize it the way that you want and just get creative and have fun with it because that's what it's all about this christmas let's make a craft because we all really know you're super good at that Next year, you'll be more prepared to make them something special. <laughs> Seriously, I love to change words on songs, and that was a lot of fun. Maybe I'll keep that in the video. Probably not. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.